2020 is the worst fire season in the history of California. 2001 to 2010, 7.3 million acres burned. As of September 2020, over 4 million acres burned so far. But where I live, everything seemed just fine. So, to understand these fires, I took a road trip to the epicenter. But driving up the coast, I could only think about how beautiful my state is. I didn't see any of the destruction the media was freaking out about. Route 1 winds through thousand foot tall mountain ranges that meet the royal blue waters of the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to share this with my children one day. That same windy road brought me to the first fire, the Dolan Fire in Big Sur. Weather is warming up, drying out. Uh, we haven't had a significant amount of rain, uh, either in the winter of this year, as well as uh, throughout the summer. There were burnt patches near the highway, but the steep cliffs allowed no access. It wasn't until the CZU lightning complex that I could truly understand the destruction these fires are causing. All that remains of this once beautiful forest are lifeless skeletons. But this fire was nothing compared to the SCU lightning complex. Here, I began to comprehend just how big these fires have become. Entire mountain ranges suffering from ever-lengthening dry seasons burst into flames when lightning struck. started outside of Napa. I think you should go check it out. I thought these fires just affected nature reserves. I can't imagine wine country burning. The fire started just where I live, just next door. Uh -huh. So it was just before four in the morning, so everybody had to leave pretty quick. Yeah, so no chance to grab anything. So when I hear, oh, this is the governor saying, this is the new normal, why? It's not fair. Currently the fire is at 1,500 acres. It uh, started this morning at about 3.50 in the morning. Uh, upon arrival, crews uh, found uh, about 20 acres on fire and uh, quickly increased to 50 acres. Uh, within a couple hour uh, span, it went up to 800 acres and now we're at uh, 1,500 acres with, uh, in this time frame. And this one wasn't supposed to be anything. This one. And then all of a sudden I hear that I got buddies that might need me to come up and help move out horses, so I'm flying by. We have uh, reports that evacuations have been going well. Um, crews are out there actively uh, evacuating as well as working on the front lines. vision. It's hard to breathe and, and they're coming and a fire will be a hundred yards away and you think you're safe for a second and then bam it's right there. And then there's flying shit coming through the air that looks like fire snowballs and it's coming down. What was concern became a gut-wrenching sense of dread. Witnessing the chaos, it dawned on me. This could be the future for all of California. If I just watch, as we continue in this direction, I could be the one evacuated from my home. I will be the one watering my house as a last stand. And I won't be able to show my children this place as we know it. If we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Okay, it'll start getting cooler. <laughs> I you wish just, You just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> Well, I don't think science knows, actually.